So let's take that C minor seven chord and move it through all five cage positions. The first one is down here in the open position, and this is a less common chord, but it's really cool. It has a really kind of dark quality to it that's different to some of the other C minor seven voicings. So C minor seven played in the open position, a C minor seven chord. Next position through our cage shapes would be the A minor 7 shape. And again, it's an A minor 7 shape as if you've taken a capo or moved the nut up, but the bass is a C, hence C minor 7. Now the G minor 7 shape is not really one that you're going to use in day-to-day -day playing. However, it is useful for visualization um, when you come to play arpeggios and scales and that kind of thing, but it's a tricky one to get. Okay. In fact, when we do the musical applications, I'll show you an alternative that I think you'll probably like a little more. But for now, there's the G minor shape, G minor seven shape of a C minor seven chord. Next in our caged uh, sequence is an E minor seven shape. And there's a C minor seven chord. And just like with the major seven chord with the E shape, how we left out the A string, we can also leave out the A string with the minor seven as well. And then finally, we have the D minor seven shape, C minor seven chord. So now I'm gonna play through each of those just once with the metronome, and then you'll have a chance to play along with me. One, two, three, four. So make sure you've got those five shapes under your fingers, C minor seven in each cage position, and next we'll play them together.